Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing. I ordered these plants from Green Space ID and they came all the way from Indonesia so I hope that they're doing okay. There's a lot of tape in this so I'm just gonna figure it out. So I have seen other um, people on YouTube, other plant tubers unboxing from this company and um, I've seen a lot of like mixed reviews, you know, like a lot of people receive like great plants or their plants look kind of sad. So I'm hoping my plants are okay. Oh my God, there's like so much tape. I just got home from work and I was excited to see that the post they so this is this was uh dropped off by DHL I think that's yeah DHL and um they left my package because they asked me if they could so I'm glad they left it because I wasn't home when they came okay so it looks like this there's a bunch of like foam. So yes, yeah, so I'm glad they left it because you know, I wasn't here. And luckily they left it on a shady spot. Cause today is a pretty hot day in comparison to the past week. Okay. So the paper looks pretty like moist. It's a little wet. I was really excited to order from them because I, I I seen you know other people in box plus like they had some plants that I did want and the prices were fairly reasonable okay and this is the first plant This is Anthurium um, cham Chamberlain Chamberlaini. I don't even know how to say it. I'm gonna post the. I'm gonna put up the name right here so you guys could see it. It looks r really pretty. Um, a little bit of like. I don't know if you could see. It's still like wet. So. And it does seem like it has a little bit of damage on the leaf. But other, I mean, so far it looks good. I want to go ahead and remove this bottom part just so I could see the roots. Because most of the time, even if the leaves, you know, die, as long as the roots are okay, then then you'll you could grow a healthy plant again. You know, I mean, this this plant this size is really good. I don't know, what do you guys think? I think this size is a really nice size for this plant. You could tell that this little baby leaf is like yellow and like maybe stressed out or just the older leaf. So that might fall off for sure. Okay, they send it like wrapped in like a tissue, like toilet paper. Um, let's see. So this plant had been on my wish list uh forever i i had seen it on ebay and other places but the price was like a little crazy for me i i couldn't like excuse paying like so much money for it so i i do think that ordering from other place like from indonesia or you know importing from other countries is a good deal if if the plants come in good health but you also have to be careful and you have to be able to like bring them back to life if you know the leaves die as long as their root system is fine then the plant will be fine oh wow so the roots are really good um it does feel a little dry so just the leaves were like a little bit moist but as i think this plant will be just fine 
Okay, the next, the next plant is also an anthurium. Uh, this is a silver, it's called, they call it a silver blush, but to me it looks like a, a crystal hope. Um, this leaf that's right on top looks like it's the newest leaf, but it has some damage and it's like really soft. Um, and then this one looks like the older leaf, but this previous leaf looks really good. This one too. It, it feels pretty flimsy, so as soon as I'm done, so when I receive um, plants from other countries, what I do is I usually, since the plant has been in a box for like so many days, and you know, they're obviously under stress because it's not the condition that they're used to. What I like to do is I put them in water with Super Thrive, which gives them some nutrients, you know, and helps them acclimate faster. Obviously my conditions in my house is way different than, you know, where they come from. So that's one of the things I do. Depending on how bad or good the roots are, then I go ahead and either pot them up or continue to acclimate my plants. So for these plants, I could see that the root system is so good, like pretty good. So these plants will probably just be in water for a little bit to acclimate or just to like recover from being in a box. So when I do that, when I place them in water with Super Thrive, um, I usually leave them there for a couple of days, maybe up to a week, depending on how bad the plants got to me. Because there are plants that are, are sometimes stuck in customs for a longer time. This is the first time that I order from this company. So I really wanted to see how fast uh, DHL would deliver. This says silver on it. Oh my God, you guys. This is one of my top wish list plants. And it looks so big and so full. I'm I'm shocked and it looks great for being in the mail oh my god so this is a <laughs> I can't even talk this is an alocasia silver dragon I'm I'm <laughs> wow oh my god this looks freaking awesome I was like really excited about this package but now that i see this i'm i'm beyond like happy now <laughs> this plant had been on my wish list for so long i had a baby version of this plant a long time ago and unfortunately it died because i think at that time i wasn't giving it the right conditions but now i i trying to redeem myself and this one oh my god it's so beautiful I'm so surprised that it traveled well but also I I don't know I don't think I can get a package from another service besides DHL now because this got to me fairly quickly like I've ordered from overseas before and I've had packages take like 10 days and sometimes things don't look so great you know but this plant looks amazing Especially for being in alocasia. Alocasias are known to be more finicky plants and they're definitely more more needy than you know philodendron. So I'm really excited. I can't wait to pot these guys up. 
oh my god it has like the most amazing root system so long look i could keep going now that's a lot of roots this one is also a wish list plant i think i'm really glad i ordered from them like i was scared because i did see other people recently receiving packages because obviously i watch other youtubers and i saw people were getting plants that look really sad and also concerned and i placed this order because they had so many plants that were on my wish list so now i'm really excited that i did i was really scared so the next one is this beautiful anthurium this is a dark mama that's what it's called and i i'm stunned the full the leaves are so dark and there's three leaves but even the smaller leaves looks okay even if the leaves didn't look okay you guys i feel like just based off like all the root systems i've seen so far like for sure i could you know bring this plant back if if the leaves were to die back you know i'm i'm pretty sure at least one of them or two will drop leaves just because you know they'll have to acclimate to my house and my house tends to stay a little bit more cold although this week is supposed to be really nice and hot so i feel spring coming on so yeah look how beautiful it is oh my god i'm stunned <laughs> And the roots are great. There's no no rot whatsoever. It looks so good. It seems like I ordered only Anthurium now. And that alocasia, I believe. Oh, this one's so tiny. This next one is Anthurium Doriaki. I don't know if that's how you say it, guys, but it's so cute. It's so small though. Look how cute it is. It's adorable. Oh my god. I can't believe. I can't believe how good these look. I'm so excited. I can't wait to pop these up. This one is very small though. I could... You know what I mean? But I'm happy with it. It's so cute. Plus, I do. I did get some plants. I mean, some <laughs> some small pots that I that I could use to pot these guys. Up. Well, this one up. I think I might need to get bigger pots for the other ones. You guys. Okay, this one doesn't have as many roots, but. The ones it has are okay. They're not like falling off. Oh. They're not like falling off <laughs> besides the one I just ripped off by accident. But I think it'll be okay. Oh my God, my foot is falling asleep. So those are the plants that I ordered. And then with my order, they gave me a free plant. I guess they have like a, like a deal of the month type of thing and then depending on what month you order they send you a little like gift and they send me this adansonii monster adansonii i mean and i already have monster adansonii but monster adansonii how many times did i just say monster adansonii is one of my favorites so and then this one looks way different than the one that i have like, look at these fenestrations, they're humongous. And the leaf size is really nice too. Okay, and then this is what the roots look like. They look good, I think. No rot, which is the most important part. And yeah, I think that's great. I love it, so cute. So that's it for this unboxing. Let me know what you guys think. I think these plants look pretty good in comparison to, you know, other plant mail that I received from overseas. So I'm really excited to pot them up and see how they do in my home. 
Let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, write them down in the comment section for me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you guys are interested in the company that I ordered from, I'll leave their website in the description. As always, thank you for watching. Bye!